Hey guys, what's going on? Today's episode is going to be all about swim bait fishing. It's perfect conditions outside to go, but first I'm going to go eat lunch with my girlfriend and then I'm going to come back. I have a video that I have to finish. I have a rod that I have to return. I have a few other things that I have to do, but I'm going to go ahead and eat lunch with my girlfriend and then we'll go from there. Oh! You're going to be part of the vlog. No, if this goes on YouTube, then my mom's going to be like, why are you at the house? What you what you chomping on there, Haley? All right, guys, I got the stack. Haley got <laughs> the salad. The salad. She put nasty stuff on it. All right, guys, let's talk swim baits. Um, today we are gonna go out swim bait fishing, and I just kind of first like want to go over what I'm doing. Uh, that way when I'm out there, I can focus, and I'm not really giving. Also, give tips but I can still say what I want to while I'm sitting here and I'm not focused on fishing. Uh, so anyways, um, there's a ton of different types of swim baits. Um, there's glide baits, there's soft plastic swim baits, but today we're gonna be focusing on multi-jointed swim baits. I just started fishing with multi-jointed swim baits uh, probably just a couple months ago. Um, fall, which it is right now, is a fantastic time uh, to fish swim baits of any kind uh, because bass kinda go into like this feeding frenzy in the fall um the shad spawn they'll be eating shad so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what a multi-jointed swim bait looks like just so you have an idea this one will be a shad representation i actually got this in my lucky tackle box something like this and the multi-jointed comes from the multiple joints that the bait has um this bait i think is only i think it's around 25 30 dollars um which honestly isn't too bad uh swim baits if you become a serious swim bait fisherman, uh, they can get into the hundreds and even like you can be paying like a thousand dollars for a swim bait, which I think is a little ridiculous. Um, all my swim baits are about like thirty to forty dollars a piece. In clear water situations, um, preferably almost like a sunny day, uh, just so that these bass can see the swim baits, uh, clear water. Um, making long casts is really key and these baits are going to draw attention to themselves if that makes sense this isn't a reaction strike bait uh, some somewhat like uh, like flipping would be almost um, the bass are going to be seeing this from a very far away a ways and they're going to be following it up so uh, these baits are meant to draw attention and uh, also draw attention of really big fish anyways enough of me talking uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out on the water I know I'm not like the most educated on swim bait fishing. Um, I've caught my fair share of eight and nine pounders on these things. Um, but I'm hoping that I can catch some big fish today and also give you guys some tips out in the water. Uh, but anyways, I'll catch you guys there. All right, guys, I see a little open pocket over there. It just looks too good not to hit up. The thing that sucks is I have a swim bait tied on, but uh, let's give it a go. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my drag's loose, guys, but I promise you I just had one. I don't feel them anymore. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, so the main lake's right over there. I'm fishing this cut first just because it's on the way, and I have to paddle because I don't have a motor. So it's uh, kind of a hassle <laughs> to go all the way over there. Um, but bait fish a lot of times will be up in these little cuts rather than on the main lake and a lot of times the big bass will come here to see if they can uh they can't oh ow <laughs> first cast and i hit myself a lot of the bass come here to uh, see if they can't get a quick little snack so as you guys can tell it's extremely windy over there um i'm just right off the main lake and uh, the reason for that being is the wind is blowing in this direction and a lot of times um Whichever way the wind is blowing, the bait fish will be pushed up against that shore and um, in the cut that it's blowing into. So that's why I'm hitting the cut first. Then I'm going to go out to the main uh, lake, hit those, um, those points, and uh, see if we can't find a big one on the swim bait. Oh, he came up and ate it again. I watched him eat it. That one wasn't very big. That one was like... Oh. 
There we go, guys. <laughs> Hit it right there. That was amazing. Barely even got him hooked. That's the first fish on this uh, swim bait right here. Good fish. Gonna go ahead and let him go. Give him a little toss. The water's over there. But uh, yeah. Spot number two. I've kind of positioned myself. Uh, if you guys can see, the wind is pushing into this corner right here, and I kind of want to get some casts along uh, that ledge with this. And also, right down this little alleyway at the end of the canal, or the opening of the canal, rather, uh, might be holding some fish in it. So, kind of got two places to cast. And already busted one. Doesn't feel like a bass. It is. Little tiny guy on the swim bait. That didn't take long at all. First cast at this new spot. So for those of you guys who are afraid to throw these swim baits, uh, you can still catch small fish on them. It's not necessarily the greatest thing in the world to catch them, but for those of you guys who are afraid that you won't catch anything throwing one of these, uh, the small fish will indeed still hit it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start casting along this hydrilla edge right here. I'm gonna give it a fast reel in the first time, and the second time I give it a little bit slower approach, let it sink a little bit more. Uh, I think that's a fish, yeah it is. <laughs> this thing's catching me all the, oh it's a, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Guys, look at how beautiful that fish is. That is one good looking fish. Gonna go ahead and get him off the hook and let him go. All right guys, there he is. Ate the swim bait, that's insane. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. Boop. All right guys, I'm back out here on the main lake. Um, so I just stopped fishing little pockets. Give it a go out here. The only thing is it's ridiculously windy out here. Um, which isn't a bad thing. It's just for the audio and for the video. Uh, isn't really the greatest. Alright guys, I just paddled to the other side of the lake in hopes of landing a toad. And I know I could land more fish if I was using like a worm or something because I'm not really 100% comfortable with this, but I'm seeing patches of hydrilla, which is always the biggest key for fish. If you see a little patch off the rest, oh my goodness. I can't even tell you how much of a giveaway that is that a fish is sitting there. I apologize for the wind guys once again. I can tell that it's just gonna be terrible audio. Appreciate you guys sitting through it. I'm on the freaking grind for a fish right now. I'm just in, really could use a nice one. Might even switch up swim baits here in a second. All right, so as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see from that camera, um, Right now I'm working the edge of this hydrilla patch. That feels like a really nice fish. Oh yeah, it's, this is the biggest fish of the day by far. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's tugging. He's wrapping himself up in that hydrilla, guys. This might be bigger than five pounds. Oh no. I think he got off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, he freaking railed it. Yeah, I don't feel him anymore. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, no. Oh no, I think I just felt him. Oh, he's still on there, he's not that big. Oh yeah, he is. Oh yeah, he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh.
Gosh, this might be my PB. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And I know. I left my scale at the house. All right, now what I want you guys to do is tell me. All right, what I want you guys to do is tell me how big you think this fish is because I forgot my scale. Alright guys, definitely a beautiful fish. Absolute toad. Got a stomach on him. I wish I knew how big he was, but I don't have a scale, so I need you guys to leave me a comment down below how big you think he is. Oh, with the few camera angles that I gave you. I'm um, like, give him a little revive right now, then I'm gonna go ahead and get this underwater release. Uh, make sure you guys, especially if you catch big fish, uh, revive them for extra long make sure that they're ready to go back um it's a shame that some people uh, don't treat the big fish correctly and uh they end up not being able to be caught a gun another day so i want to make sure that this fish is okay and um he looks like he's going to be fine going to go ahead and get this underwater release guys awesome fish that's what some baits do you gotta oh man it was so bad i'm sorry for the wind <laughs> but those fish that I had to go through that were so small to catch this fish was definitely worth it. That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. Um, I really hope you learned something about swim bait fishing and I really hope you guys enjoyed that big fish that I caught. Please don't forget to uh, leave down below how much you think that fish weighs, just so I can get like an estimate. Um, also, guys, I love doing these videos. Thank you so much for watching them. Um, I really do appreciate the support, and this is uh, something that I really enjoy to do. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll guys catch you in whatever. Peace.